one of the questions that i've been asked often is how do i become a blockchain developer how do i become a web3 developer and i totally get it because i asked this question myself um, a couple of years back so in this video i'm going to be trying to answer these questions i'll be sharing tips resources all the information that you need to know to go from clueless to writing or building blockchain applications okay so if you're interested then you should watch this video till the end hello welcome back to my youtube channel just in case you are seeing my face for the very first time where have you been where have you been hiding anyways welcome back if you're a first time viewer and if you are a subscriber special welcome to you in this video we are going to be talking about how to become a web3 developer so before i jump right into the main crux of this video who exactly is a blockchain developer or maybe you can say a web3 developer now before i go deep into that i want to say that there are two types or there are two categorizations of people that are called web3 developers or blockchain developers now the first categorization which we'll be fo um, focusing on in this video are the blockchain developers now these guys are software developers that specialize um, on building applications that run on the blockchain so it comprises every, um, everything from um, smart contract development which is the back end of a web3 application down to the front end side um, down to building the centralized application down to building basically any blockchain related or blockchain based project that runs on a blockchain now all of those people are categorized into blockchain developers now the other category are called um, the core blockchain developers or some people call them the core protocol developers now these are the people that build what we call the blockchain they build the infrastructure that makes the blockchain itself work so those are like the two categorization now the first one build applications that run on a blockchain while the other one build the blockchain and other infrastructures that are used in the blockchain so i hope you get it now that we know um who a blockchain developer is or who a web3 developer so when i say web3 developer i'm literally talking about it's almost like the same thing different organizations use um these different words at random but yeah i'm talking about the same thing so now that we know who these people are how can you actually become a web3 developer let's find out my very first tip is to learn about web3 learn about blockchains learn about how the whole um infrastructure of a blockchain works now you cannot say you want to become a web3 developer and you don't know what web3 is it doesn't make sense so you have to put in the work to actually learn and understand this new ecosystem understand what is going on and understand how things work so you don't have to go in depth but you need to understand what is web3 what is a blockchain what is a token what is a coin what is a smart contract what is a dao all of those things you need to know them so that when you now actually start building these things you're familiar with what you're building it's not going to be so strange and even when you're learning it's going to make sense because when they are um, when the lessons or whatever you're using to learn is going on they'll be trained along um they'll be trained a lot of these words around and you want to understand what they mean so the very first thing you need to do is to actually learn about web3 learn what is web3 learn how things work in the web3 ecosystem it's going to go a long way helping you to really become that um expert blockchain developer that you want to become or web3 developer that you want to become after you have learned the basics of web3 then the next thing for you to do is to decide what blockchain you want to build on now there are several blockchains and each of these several blockchains have several um development languages they have several toolkits that they use they are not the same so their approaches are quite different even though all of their foundations are based on programming but they use different programming languages so for example under ethereum if you're going to be building smart contracts in ethereum ecosystem you're going to write solidity but for solana you learn rust you need to use rust for flow blockchain you're using cadence for which other blockchain 
different blockchains have different smart contract programming languages they have different tools that they use they have different consensus mechanisms if you don't understand all of these things then you need to like go and understand the basics of web3 but then you need to decide which blockchain you want to build on which blockchain you want to work on now when you've decided you will not know which um materials you need to be learning you now know which boot camps you need to be attending or you now know what exactly you need to learn so this is actually very important you can decide to um pick up one or two blockchains if you don't know which one to pick i recommend you pick up ethereum because ethereum is very popular and they have a very big community that you can actually learn with so in case you don't know which one you could just go with ethereum there are a lot of resources around ethereum but then if you're looking for something new there are also several new blockchains that are out and they are looking for developers so you can as well as look for one of those new blockchains and just learn their stack learn the language that they are using and before you know it you've landed a job in that ecosystem so the second step is for you to decide what blockchain you want to work on after you've decided what blockchain you would want to work on the next thing to do is to start learning but how do you learn there are two parts two parts now there is the self-taught part and then there is the boot camp part so let me start from the self-taught part now self-taught means that you are teaching yourself you're figuring out everything by yourself you are learning by yourself so how do you get started learning you can actually choose a platform that you want to learn with and stick to it now i'm going to recommend some platforms for you the very first one is learn web3 dao now learn web3 dao is a educational um, platform that covers a range of web3 courses from beginner to advanced now the beauty the beautiful now the beautiful thing about learn web3 dao is that they have full courses that would show you how to actually build on different blockchains so they have a program for um, ethereum which is i think is called the ethereum development ethereum developer degree i think and then they have one for bitcoin so if you want to build on bitcoin they have one it's called stacks developer degree i guess but yeah those they have those specified um courses that you can take to actually learn and they also have like short courses as well in case you just want to test a particular blockchain i think they have something on flow they have something on all of those new blockchains but now learn web3 dao is a good place to learn and another thing about learn web3 dao is that they give you um badges they give you nfts for completing those courses so you have something to stay motivated you have something to prove that oh i actually did these courses I actually learned this thing and of course they have projects that you get to build along the way so you're not just learning you are learning and you're building one other thing I like about Learn Web3 DAO is that they have a very, 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 very nice community, both on Twitter, both on Discord. Personally, went through this program and I highly recommend, I recommend that you pick it up and you get started. Now, the second platform that you can learn on is Metaschools. Uh, Metaschools is another educational Web3 platform that gives you a variety of courses to learn. Now, the beautiful thing about this one is that they actually have their courses categorized according to the blockchains so if you want to learn um, under the ethereum blockchain they have a couple of courses that you can take around ethereum put together in one place if you want to learn um other blockchains like polygon they have courses specialized and categorized for you so you just need to look for the particular blockchain pick one and then you see the courses that are available and then you learn and they also offer um they also offer a gamified learning experience so the interface is quite interesting very soft easy to learn and yeah the first these two um, programs i've mentioned or these two platforms i've mentioned are self-paced so you don't have to fit it into like the, the curriculum is actually very flexible and you can learn it at your own pace nobody is pursuing you whenever you can you actually sit down and you learn now the third one i'm going to be mentioning is alchemy university <laughs> alchemy university is very comprehensive they have a degree called um, i think it's also called ethereum developers something but they, they have that they have something for ethereum developers they have a course on solidity and they have a course on javascript 
So just in case you are clueless about what to start from, if you don't have any programming language at all, you can start from the JavaScript, you can move on to the Solidity, or you can just jump right into the Ethereum um, developers course. And it's very in-depth, it's very practical. They have, um, they have projects as well that can help you learn as you build, or that can help you build as you learn. So I highly recommend these three platforms Another platform you can use to learn is Udemy. Udemy has a lot of courses, like start to finish courses that you can actually take to actually learn um, to actually learn blockchain development. So um, when you're taking courses on Udemy, I recommend that you check the reviews. Check the reviews that other students have about those courses so you know whether it's a good fit for you before you pay for them. That way you will not just pick up a course that doesn't really have good content. But yeah. There are a lot of courses on Udemy that can help you get started. Now, all of these um, places, all of these platforms I've mentioned, they offer some of their courses actually are full stack, meaning that it's front end and back end. Now, under Web3 development, the front end side is the same as Web2 front end. You are still writing HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and any other JavaScript framework. But for the back end, the back end, which is usually the smart contract side of things, it is usually a smart contract programming languages. So I was going to say that most of these um, courses are usually full stack. So which is, it has the front end side and it has the back end side. And I think it's a good thing because at the end of the day, when you're done with these courses, you know which one appeals to you the most. So if you decide that you prefer the front end side, you can then stick to front end and just build up on the front end side of things but if you decide that you you prefer the smart contract side of things you can as well as um you can as well as stick to the smart contract side of things and just build on it that said the two things that would make your self-taught journey successful is consistency and discipline without these two ingredients you will not you will, you will fail with you. so you need to be very consistent it's not something that you learn something today the next three weeks you come back and learn the second one no you have to be consistent you have to learn it say every day every week you have to learn you have to consistently show up and learn now the second one discipline is very important because you have to be disciplined enough to know that even though nobody is supervising you even though nobody is watching you you have to accomplish the task that you said you are going to accomplish so it's actually very important that you're very consistent and you're very disciplined throughout this self-thought journey <laughs> okay so the next thing i want us to know is that you need to find accountability if you're going to do this self-thought thing then you have to be accountable either you are accountable to yourself it's possible for you to be accountable to yourself you should hold yourself in high regards and say that okay if i say i'm going to do this i'm going to do this so you can be accountable to yourself you can be accountable to other people you can maximize the internet show up or learn in public something of that sort if you want me to do a video about how to learn in public effectively just say so in the comments and i'll do a video about that because that is a hack that a lot of people are not paying attention to but then yeah apart from that um just ensure that you're accountable so that you actually set the goal to actually become a web3 developer and then you actually smash it through this self-taught part okay all right so thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye